Hi, you tuned in for the Power and Energy News Channel, ESI Africa. For this episode, I am speaking with Isaac Akun, who is from the city of Ekuruleni here in South Africa. Welcome to the studio. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. So, the first thing that I want to talk about is your action plan to be a green city and your partnership with the, with the IFC. And uh, we were having a discussion just a little bit earlier and you were talking about a 100-point action plan. Yeah, so initially we developed a climate change strategy in 2017 that was formalized and it looked at like a range of activities across various sectors and various departments in terms of uh, probably around 100 plus actions or measures that we would need to take to ensure that by 2030 uh, we would be a climate resilient city um, and then net zero by 2050. Uh, but you can imagine to implement 100 plus actions without the proper prioritization, yes. it's, it's a bit insane. Yeah, you would not reach the, the actual uh, point that you would like to. And especially with uh, COP27 around the corner, you want to be able to go to the, uh, to the COP27 and, and say, this is the action plan, this is how we're going to implement it. But what, is your, what is your starting point? Yeah, so, so w w what was, was nice is that the, the process that we launched with IFC was specifically around prioritization. Mm. So the APEX tool that the IFC offered us um, through our partnerships agreements and, and our work together in previous, uh, in, in, in partial other sectors and, uh, and areas of work was around prioritization of key measures. So we brought that 100 plus list down to probably around a 20 plus uh, um, actions um, that we would then implement um, and that's already, ha that's already got some kind of implementation happening happening across the board, um, which, is, which is a significant achievement. Um, you know, we've got prioritization of these measures now, we know which targets they specifically link to, and with the APEX software tool that we're utilizing, we've got a 29 baseline that we can then measure our achievements against. That is fantastic. It's all about the data. Start with the data. Yes. And I believe that a turning point for the city was in uh, COP2017. And why was that? Why was that the turning point for you? I think what COP17 was on, was on our soil. Um, it happened in Durban, it was a local initiative and I think you know metros stepped up as well as local governments stepped up in terms of having a voice. Mm -hmm. um, we signed specifically the Compact of Mayors, Global Covenant of uh, Compact of Mayors Pledge. Uh, we then also made uh, good uh, um, leads in terms of the networks around climate change, both internationally and nationally um, and the conversation really started then um, and, and, and the voice um, that was predominant was that cities need to take action um, and that's where we felt then you know the city of Ekuleni would like to be a key role player in climate change action going forward. Yeah. It's one of the action plans about communication with the residents of Ekuleni. Yeah I think that's that's a pivotal point I think communications is key we need to continuously go back to our residents showcasing what we're doing and showcasing the difference they're making in terms of the solutions that we've been offering them overall. Uh, one of the main conversations is around renewable energies um, Ekuleni as well as city of Cape Town uh, are piloting this year in terms of in the Independent power producers and getting them to secure our uh, energy future. Um, you know, we need to work with private sector. We need to make sure that we're driving home the message to say that we are an energy, we are a water secure um, city, and how can we um, enable that there within household level as well? Well, you've got a lot on your plate and a lot to, to work towards. So I wish you all the best and for the city of Ekuruleni along your green uh, cities action plan. Thank you very much and thank you for hosting us today. It was lovely meeting you. You're welcome. Please like, share and subscribe to ESI Africa for more of this type of content.